Hello, I'm Megan Boyer, a Regional Program Coordinator with Arts for All Florida. The mission of Arts for All Florida is to provide support and champion arts education and cultural experiences for and by people with disabilities. I'm here today with Cheryl Cohen Kerr, one of our teaching artists. She is a certified music practitioner, an educator, and more. Cheryl, thank you for being here today. The pleasure's mine. Thanks for <laughs> inviting me. Of course. Uh, could you please tell us about how you got involved in music? Sure. Well, uh, you know, my dad was an actor uh, in Brooklyn and uh, also a musician. And uh, just, you know, we were around music and performers and he knew songwriters and um, just loved all the different kinds of sounds and music. My brother's a jazz musician and I was always around people who were in the, in the performing arts and, uh, you know, loved that. And so it was just a part of part of my unfolding in life. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a wonderful way to grow up. What a creative family. <laughs> <laughs> we're different. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what inspired your next step from the performing arts into the healing and therapeutic aspects of music? Well, I had heard about a really unique program being developed at a hospital and I became a part of that was uh, healing arts, they called it. And I worked with that and became a healing arts specialist. And in my own recovery as a brain injury survivor, I found a lot of uh, research on how drumming helps the brain and how other uh, ways, you know, with music help to heal the brain and help with so many areas of our wellness. And uh, that's how I, you know, kind of got into the, that whole aspect. Love nature and natural healing and uh, seeing how that helps people. So. Sure. And so in addition to your work as a certified music practitioner, you are also an educator and a part of our teaching artist program. Um, what kind of students do you teach and what kinds of places do you teach at? Right. Well, um, I have uh, been, you know, working with um, this whole idea since '02, and um, I work with uh, children in the schools that are special needs, all the way to behavioral health hospital settings, mm -hmm. and uh, even um, at-risk youth. Uh, so they kind of those students run the gamut from you know being uh, addicted maybe to substances and and maybe young adults or kids on the autism spectrum so our therapeutic music training my therapeutic music training um actually covers that and all of these students are normally in school anyway uh or, or treatment center mm -hmm. okay um so we have a video here today um, that we're going to play. Could you tell us briefly about what we're going to see in the video? Sure. Uh, this is a, a third grade class um, with a UCP. So they're um, partially mainstreamed um, along with special needs children. And um, I'm doing a character building rhythm with them. And so I think they'll have the opportunity to spell a word, to um, integrate the rhythm and the music into their regular curriculum and their learning. So they'll be in a group, excitedly playing. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, let's watch. Lots of fun. 
fun what a lively group <laughs> <laughs> there was quite a few of them <laughs> yeah uh, could you tell us about an interesting teaching experience you've had well oh my goodness i've had so many but <laughs> one that kind of stood out to me was a young man that was um on the autism spectrum and i think he was like in ninth grade and he every time I would put an instrument in his hand, like either a drum or one day I gave him a recorder to play mm -hmm. and he could actually keep on track with the rhythms and the sound. He was severely autistic. And, mm -hmm. and the thing was, it's like he just seemed so, um, well, I'd say entrained, you know, like so with the rhythm and so with what I told him to do and yet he couldn't he couldn't really talk uh, and be in a cognitive state of awareness but he he would transform I remember oh. this child and it, it was really powerful to watch him go from being quite wild in his responses to being centered and more aware of what he was doing I just always remember that young man. Yeah, it sounds like quite a powerful transformation. Um, well, certainly thank you for all that you've done as an educator. <laughs> um, one more question. Um, how has the Americans with Disabilities Act affected your life and that of your students? Well, obviously with um, this population of special needs, many times they have to come to the facility or the school or that they're in a behavioral hospital in a wheelchair or in, in a van or, or something like that. And so, you know, for them to be able to participate in my class, they've had, they've been helped along the way. Uh, and of course, uh, I've been having the opportunities to grow and to learn uh, and just you know be able to be of service um, with what I do with these students and so yeah I would say that that's a very supportive uh, association all right um, legislation well, legislation <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes, yes. Um, well, Cheryl, thank you so much for your time today and for your investment in our Arts for All students. Cheryl, I hear you're going to close with a song today. Can you tell us what we're about to hear? Yes, this is Mbira Kosandela.
Thank <laughs> you.